In this video, we're going to look at creating alert rules and managing alerts in Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. Now, in previous videos and blog posts, I've reviewed and explained how to set up and use satisfaction metrics. This is kind of taking it a step further to where what we can do is create alerts that will trigger when somebody responds to one of the satisfaction metric type questions in a certain way. So we've got the net promoter score, we've got CSAT or customer satisfaction, and then we also have sentiment. And we can set up these rules that will trigger when somebody responds in a specific way. So the first thing that we're going to do is we will navigate to one of our projects. And within there, we can see that we've got a quest, uh, sorry, a survey or multiple surveys. And in the report section, we've got this alerts option. Now, the first time, time that we go to it, if we don't have any created, this is what we're going to see. So it says we need to create an alert rule, which we can do either by clicking here or we can click on this option up here. So let's go ahead and we'll create the first one. Now, you don't need to have set up your satisfaction metrics first, but if you haven't, all that you will see will be the questions rather than the name of the metric. So if I go back and I go into my survey, and we'll just do a quick satisfaction metric. Um, and let's actually name this. Uh, this is net promoter score. So I'm just going to name that and save it. And let's go with this one. This one is sentiment. And we'll save that. So we've got those and I think Yep, let's just add a rating just so we can see. Uh, give us your overall rating. Now, if I go back to satisfaction metrics, I can add a CSAT and I can pick that question. OK, so I've got my satisfaction metrics. I just want you to see what they will look like now if I go back into the alerts, create my alert. And now we can see a little bit more clearly. So the first thing that I might do is might say, right, I want an alert when someone is a detractor. So somebody has answered the net promoter score question and the response equals detractor. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Let's add another one. And for this one, let's say um, positive feedback. Because it's not just about negative, it may also be that if somebody's provided some amazing feedback, um, we want to contact them to thank them and also see if we can maybe use that feedback in a recommendation or a review, perhaps. And then we'll also do um, uh, low satisfaction. And for this one, I'll put CSAT and I will basically say less than or equal to three. So... Those are the metrics or sorry, the alerts that I've set up. I can then view those and we can see that we've now got those three different rules. So now what will happen is when somebody responds to the survey and they essentially answer something that would then trigger one of those rules, we're going to get these alerts that get created. So what I'm going to do is go back into my projects and let's go and we'll look at one where I know that some alerts have been created. So I'm going to go to the alerts. And now we get this panel where we can see all of these alerts that are coming through. This is the name of the alert rule that I created for each of these. And what we can see is that we've got some that have been assigned to somebody. And we've got others that are still unassigned. So what I can do is I can click on the name of the customer or anonymous, as you see here, if it's not been linked to a customer in uh, Dataverse, we can see that we've got the condition that was met. So CSAT looks like a lovely heart, doesn't it? A CSAT is a less than three on this one. And what was the response? The response that was given to this question was a one. So I can also click on see all responses so I can see all of the answers for that specific survey. <clears throat> and what I can also do is from the top, I can assign this out to somebody. So if I just click on assign, I'm going to assign this one to David um, and just click assign. So I can do it from there. Now we can see it's assigned to David. He needs to come and he needs to actually check this out, follow back up with the customer, whatever it might be. I can also select multiple from here and do reassign. And we'll give these ones to Jackie. 
and assign those. And I can also do it from the individual one and I can do a sign from here as well. So I can go through and I can assign these out so that somebody is then responsible for them. So if I'm now working on something and I look at this and I can see, okay, here's the issue. This person is a detractor. I can then look at the responses because maybe they've then given us more feedback, which we can see right here. I can then add in notes as I'm going along and I'm working on this case or I'm working on this resolution rather. So I could put in that I have tried calling the customer a few times no reply yet. So this is notes. So anyone else that um, might be coming in and looking can see, okay, well, they're, they're doing something. There's something that's happening with this. Then when I get to the point where I'm actually finished, I can then go ahead and click resolve and say, finally spoke to the customer and they are happy. Will give us another try resolved whatever it might be so i'm just going to go ahead and click resolve so now that is resolved everything's um everything's locked i can't go back in and change anything about it there is an option to reopen it um if i click on the ones that are resolved so we can see here um i could open it reopen if actually it's not finished with i can go back to it and look through and, and make changes so that's how we would be managing it within um, Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. Now, if you have a um, either Dynamics 365, customer engagement, whatever you want to call it, sales, service, um, or you have a license to be able to create power apps and you've created a model-driven power app, you can actually get to the alerts from within here. So we can see that we've got the information that would pass through from the alert back into um Dataverse, which was CDS. And we can see here that we've got things like the subject, we've got who it was assigned to, the name of the person. If you, let's say that you generated a survey that went out based on a case that was closed, we can see the name of the customer um, that's pulled through, the project it's linked to, the survey, the survey response, and so on. And then we get to actually see the detail, the resolution detail, and any of the notes that were added, who resolved it actually, and then what the satisfaction metric was, the rule. We've got all of that detail that's pulled back into the um, Dataverse. So hopefully that helps. You can see that you could start to set up these alert rules and then manage those alerts. You'd have to kind of figure out and decide how internally you are going to manage those, who will be responsible for them. Do they have access to customer voice to be able to actually go in and do something about it? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something that you think that you would start using? Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.